what's up everybody finally 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 thank god finally infinity warriors here everybody who's been watching the mcu has been waiting for this day man oh my god and it's finally here so let's get straight to the review so infinity war takes place immediately after thor ragnarok thanos is here to get all the infinity stones that way he can have godlike powers to wipe out all of humanity and i was up to the avengers to stop him the minute this movie starts we're introduced to thanos and oh my god that opening scene, that introduction, shows that he is the real deal. I mean, ooh, homie's whooping ass with the quickness. I did not expect for him to whoop this person's ass. Everybody in the theater is like, yo, hey, bro, what, what's going on here? Like, really? Did, did he really? God damn. Like, man, like, I, I was just like, wow. Josh Brolin does a great job playing him. Like, I remember when we first saw him in the post credit scene in the first Avengers movie. They didn't cast Josh Brolin. They didn't cast nobody. So he was just like a just a purple monster. But once they cast him, each movie he begins to look more and more like him. To now he's look like just like a big purple Josh Brolin. So it's like, man, like look at that snarl, look at that 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 mean mug. That is so Josh Brolin. So his performance, seeing him is like, man, this dude is really menacing. Like homie looks scary as shit, man. I mean, look at Josh Brolin as Cable. Like man, just, the, just the homie looks badass. So him and Stan, I was like, man, that was a that was a great casting choice. And I also like that he isn't a one-dimensional villain. Like, yeah, he has that goal of, you know, like, taking over the world, destroying the world or whatever. But when he begins to talk, when we actually, like, you know, check in with his background, it's like, you know what? What he's doing is messed up, and he even knows it. But in his eyes, he's doing good. He's, he's helping out humanity. He's helping out these planets when he's wiping out half the population. It's crazy. He says, like, hey, it's hard, but somebody has to do it. It has to be me. So when you think about it, it's like, you know what, again, he's, what he's doing is messed up. But in the long run, it actually may be kind of good. So I actually like it. Like, honestly, this movie should just have been called, you know, Thanos Infinity War. Because the majority of the movie, we're checking in with Thanos. And hell, honestly, I was sitting there like, yo, the, the Avengers are cool. Can we go back to Thanos instead? I'd rather see what he's doing. I'd rather see how he's getting this stone and whose ass he's whooping next. Like, man, Thanos was a... Thanos was fucking awesome. Now the Avengers here, I enjoyed all of them, but seeing as how there are so many, like remember, we have the OG Avengers, we have the new Avengers, we have the Guardians of the Galaxy, we have a lot of them coming together in this two and a, two and a half hour movie, and there's so much stuff to say and do that not everyone is going to get uh, a lot of screen time. Like hell, you'll see Iron Man for like 20 minutes and then out of nowhere, he's going for another 20 or 30, You're like holy shit, I forgot you were in this movie dude. And sometimes there could be a good or a bad thing depending on what the character is doing. Because, I mean, some characters are, like, really doing some shit that can, like, you know, that can help out. But then there's others that's kind of, like, you know, just chilling in the background just because. I'm just like, yeah, I see why you don't have much screen time in this movie because you're kind of useless up until a point. But other than that, you're just standing there. So, yeah, I can, I can see that. And I love the interactions they have with one another because, remember, now we have new faces coming into the Avengers. I mean, we have the Guardians of the Galaxy. We have Spider-Man. We have Doctor Strange. So now it's kind of like, you know, the first Avengers where everybody's meeting each other for the first time. So you're going to have some bickering, you know, some art, you know, some, some jokes, maybe even a fight or two. So I love that. It was like, you know, watch, you know, watching the Avengers meet for the first time again. And the action scenes are dope as hell as always. Like the secondary villains they go against. I think they're called like the Black Order, Thanos' children or something. Man, they, they putting a the hurting on the Avengers too. Like there's this one dude, he's sitting there just slicing shit, throwing shit without breaking a sweat. I mean, you got Iron Man, Doctor Strange coming at him. He just like, you know, bing, bing. oh my God, damn, nigga. Like, God, shit, man. I see why, I see why Thanos got you, bro. Like, you dope as hell. The only thing that I kinda didn't like, and it, it doesn't ruin the movie because I still like everything that was said, but the jokes. Like, man, this is Infinity War. Thanos is here, and he's murking motherfuckers. Like, you know, he is... It's not like y'all winning. It's not like y'all winning. So I don't want to see, like, y'all have this big-ass battle, and shit is really going down, and out of nowhere, y'all stop in the middle of a battle. Oh, hey, you got a haircut. Oh, yeah, uh-huh. And I see you got your beard just like mine, too. Uh-huh. But to wrap it up, this movie is just... Ooh! Ooh, this movie! Woo! Thanos is a fucking badass. Ain't nobody fucking with Thanos. 
I still love all the Avengers, even though a lot of them don't get as much screen time as one another. But then again, it's a lot of them and it's a two and a half hour movie. We got a lot of stuff to say and do so what you expect. The action scenes are amazing. Uh, whatever. Everything about this movie was just dope as hell, except those, those little bitty jokes in between the last battle. Other than that though, movie was fucking dope. This movie went hard as fuck. Man, it's like, I, it's like, I, man, movie was fucking, man, Thanos. Honestly, people that don't even watch superhero movies. Y'all should get into the MCU, at least a couple of them, so it can lead up to this. Because, man, the way they just, the way they, like, you know, put effort into building, like, 10 years of all these movies continuing from the last one, and then it's leading up to Infinity War, man, they did a good job, man. And it, it shows. I cannot wait for Infinity War Part 2, or whatever they call it, Infinity Gauntlet, or whatever they call it. I know that shit is gonna, I know that shit is gonna be, mwah. And later on, I am going to do a spoiler review because there's a lot of stuff in that movie that I really want to talk about. So be on the lookout for that. So Avengers Infinity War. If you've seen it, comment down below. Let me know what you think. And while you're down there, hit that subscribe button. Check out my other videos. And as always, I will see y'all next time. Peace.